Here's a little fact about strength training and power training. So if you're trying to move heavy loads, you're trying to move loads quickly, so those would be kind of the definition of strength training versus power training, you are probably not getting enough rest between your sets. I see this basically all the time at the gym. I have to really try to slow my clients down when I'm doing a strength conditioning session with them. Everybody wants to kind of rush through things and the research is pretty clear. If we get a little bit more rest between our sets with strength and power, we're gonna perform better. We're gonna lift more, we're gonna move faster, and we're gonna make greater gains over time in how we measure strength and power. So sometimes it can be hard to just sit there and rest. So we can add a little extra benefit, not even a little, a lot of extra benefit if we also do something proactive to mitigate our body temperature rising. Obviously, we want to do that with polymer cooling at Ava Cooling Technology. So if you're doing strength training, you probably want like a three or four to one rest to work ratio. So if it took you 30 seconds to bang up that set, you probably want like two or three minutes of rest between those sets. If you're doing power training, it could be even more. It could be like a five or seven to one rest to work ratio. Now, power sets usually are a little bit quicker, so you might not be resting actually as long, but that ratio will be long. Take your time, rest appropriately between strength and power sets. And then while you're doing that, do something a little bit more active, proactive to recover more intelligently by Palmer cooling and dumping that heat onto your device.